My name is Max Ammer. Together with my wife, about 30, 33 years ago, we decided to start a company here in the Red Jampot. Ten years later, it became a partnership between a good friend of mine, Rob Hohenorn, and myself. We got another partner, Richard Snyder. The last partner joining is uh, Bob Pullman. And also two of our sons, Bob Hohendorn and Mike Ammer. When we started over 30 years ago, this area was totally not on the map. But when I visited and I saw the people, I really felt drawn to try to see how we could work with the people and protect nature at the same time. Every single thing we do, the way we build, the way we operate, where we operate, has all, all to do with this. And we all are focused on conservation. It's a very important thing for us. We are driven by conservation. When we talk about conservation is that we were thinking about how to work on conservation and how to work with the local people and the company became one of the answers to do that. As a tool, like our name is Papua Diving for a reason, we want to work with the Papuan people and protect the Papuan nature. Education is extremely important, so we have a local school. I'm very proud to say that recently there was an exam for the students and our students all rated between 85 and 100 points, which is the maximum. We start with the youngest generation because we can help them to understand important things and they're very open to listen and to learn, so that's a very good thing. In the future, if a person has a good basic education, you can keep on building on the person and, and let them grow. Our team together with everyone around is about 115 people and a very big number of them are local people, meaning born and raised in the Rajambo. And we try every time to improve, to do it in an even more sustainable way. It is difficult to take a lot of effort and we take that effort. Our resort here has at the moment seven bungalows. We never went for big numbers because we feel that's not the right way to do. I also believe we really make a difference. One of the examples is already that this area became richer than it was before we were here. When the Conservation International did their rapid assessment, they did 47 dive sites over a period of three weeks and they found that our house reef from the 47 different locations that they were diving was the richest reef in the world. And that was before anyone else operated here. And then 12 years later down the line, I asked the same scientist, Dr. Jerry Allen, to do me a favor and dive the same location again to compare and he counted 91 more fish than before. We see shark around us everywhere and when I started here there were almost no sharks anymore in the right jump. The other thing is that we build boats that are 65% more fuel efficient than the boats we used before. We plant trees, we have put several hundreds of trees in the ground the last one and a half months. The right jumpers is actually considered the success story in marine conservation, but we are happy to say we were the first one actually active uh, in doing things conservation-wise. <laughs>